Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Silver Pro BD, and today we are playing some more Game Dev Tycoon. I'm sorry it's been a little while since the last upload. I said I was going to upload fairly regularly, and uh, of course, I never stuck to my word. <laughs> uh, no, it's just it's been really, really hot here, and I really haven't been wanting to, you know, haven't been in the mood to stay inside and game. You know, it's been too hot to stay inside and game and do all that kind of stuff. Uh, and I've recently just like got a job, so I've been there a lot. Anyway, uh, I'm back now, and let's play. Uh, let's get back into Nubisoft, the company. Okay, so Taxi from Hell. I remember that one. Uh, we got the following results. Transport and simulation is a great combination. Level design seems to be quite important for this type of game. And platform genre match. G64 and simulation is good. All right. How are we doing? We don't have a lot of cash. We are lacking on the cash game. So let's find some contract work. Let's accept this contract. And then I'm thinking we make like a small game to make a bit of profit. That could work. TES, uh, rumors circulating that Vina, another Japanese company, is planning to release a home gaming console of their own. Come on. Yes! Actually, I think I might do one more contract work. Uh, see what there is. Play test. I'm not sure about that one. Four weeks. Four weeks. Uh, four weeks. Uh, you know what? I think maybe library software. I reckon we might be able to push out. Come on, keep going, keep going, buddy. I'm never gonna do this, am I? I've just lost all the money I gained. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's exactly what happened. Uh, okay, Taxi from Hell is now off the market. Sweet. Okay, that um, that actually worked out pretty well. Good job, Taxi from Hell. So um, I'm thinking let's develop a new game. Let's develop quite a small game. Um, I, let's pick the topic and stuff first. So let's go dungeon. I like dungeon. Uh, let's go strategy. Wait, what games have I got so far? Hold on. Before I do that, uh, I've, I've completely forgot, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Game history. We had Taxi from Hell, Dungeon Dasher. Dungeon Dasher 2, Prison Tycoon. Uh, Dungeon Dasher. Okay, so uh, let's stay away from Dungeon then. We've already done Dungeon a little bit. Let's go. Let's make Prison. Nah, let's not make Prison. Let's go. Dungeon Adventure on the G64. Or the PC? Nah, the G64. Wait, no, no. Um, yeah, you know what? We need to we need to see what the things like. And let's use my current game engine, and let's call it. If it wants to allow me to name it, let's call it um, Dungeon Quest. I'm sorry if there's something already called Dungeon Quest. But Dungeon Quest, which sounds lame as hell, but let's do it. Uh, 2D graphics, yeah, that seems alright. Text-based, yeah. Vina confirmed recent rumors about a new gaming console. That's cool. I guess we just wait for this now. Um, what did it say last time? I think it said that gameplay was obviously quite important. Let's bring engine down. Story and quests up. There we go. Ah, just love really cheap Coca Cola. I think we've already gone over budget on our game, not gonna lie. So better make some fucking money. We can't go bankrupt. To care for consideration. So I'll offer you a deal. 76,000 in return you have to commit and pay them 136,000 next year. You know what? 
Yeah, because I don't want to go back. I don't want to end the series here. <laughs> I can't end the series here. Um, Alright, that means we need to make a lot of money quite fast. Uh, let's just wait for the bugs to disappear. Any more? Nope, we're good. Alright. Uh, come on, Dungeon Quest. Yeah, I don't really care. Oh, yay! Dialogue's level up. Let's release the game. Hope it made us a load of money. I say, directly after making this game, we just make another, like, just pump another one out. Uh, directly after that, so that then maybe we can get some money. Because even if it's a bad game, I think we'll still make just enough money for it. Have seen better. Oh, that's fucking brilliant. Uh, Vina has been released. Alright, I'll... Don't really care about that. Generate game report on that. And I guess just wait for that to file in, I guess. Dungeon and Adventure is an okay combination. World design seems to be important for this type of game. Platform genre match. G64 Adventure is great. Oh, okay, wow, okay. Uh, Alright, now. Oh. I'm getting messages. I'm so sorry. The recently released game console Master V by Vina has stirred up the market worldwide. Industry experts say the console is not very well marketed in North America, but it will flourish in other parts of the world. Sweet. I apologize if I burp. Um, Alright, now let's do what I said and develop a new game. We are going to go with business, because we haven't made a business game yet. We are going to pick the genre of adventure. No, uh, probably simulation. I'm going to say simulation. Pick a platform. G64 is good with that. We are currently mainly on the G64. Uh... And let's call it business. Business boomer. I'm going to call it business boomer, and not be embarrassed by the, the poor naming of me. All right. And I guess we just wait for that to do its thing. Uh, imagine engine's quite important. Story probably not very important. Uh. Yeah. Gameplay I always think is important. Uh, just, I don't really know what to say here. Literally just waiting for it to... I think maybe we should up dialogues a little bit. Uh, Dungeon Quest now off the market sold 30,000. Sorry guys, people are messaging me and it's annoying. Um, graphic, sound... Yeah, that seems, that seems alright. Um, let's just wait for the bugs to go away. Nobody likes bugs. Cough, cough, AC Unity, cough, cough. New research. Casual games. Wow, okay. Oh, well, we actually have a lot of research points, so that's good. Recent market data shows that the God of All G64 seems to be slowly losing market share. Of course it says that as I finish my game on the G64. I'm going to have to compete against newer and more advanced PCs. Okay, so... Woo! New records. Alright, this is good. G64 
generate game report for business boomer. <laughs> Who's seriously buying a game, business boomer? It's like farming, like goat simulator or farming. So, oh, nice! We got a seven. It's the highest I've got so far. Could have been better. I'll tell you what. This is actually going pretty well. I'm not gonna lie. Have seen better. Well, fuck you too. Um, I'm gonna wait for it to finish before I do any of that stuff. Actually, let me just. Oh, I do have to wait for him to finish. Post-release analysis of Business Boomer is business and simulation is a good, great combination. Level design seems to be important for business games. All right, let's go research. I'm thinking maybe either new topic, something that doesn't cost. So yeah, new topic. Uh, let's go. I like military. I like the idea of military. I'm not gonna lie to you. Sorry, I'm just checking something. Yeah, I'm gonna go with military. Let's go military. Start research. Aha! We're making money. We're making money. I mean, to have 210 fans, which is kind of nice. Industry news. Ninvento has announced they will produce a portable gaming device they call the GameLing. The device comes with changeable game chain uh, cartridges, a monochrome screen on a green background, built-in speakers, and even multiplayer support via connection cable. Damn. Sounds original. Better PCs and other gaming... Yeah, whatever. GameLing is set to hit shelves next month. Just wait for us to research that. You've successfully researched military. Lovely. We need more money. Three months? Oh, shit. <laughs> All right. What's the quickest way? To do it would it okay I'll take a look at the contract work see what we can get but I'm thinking the best one is probably that one no way that one maybe no the best way is probably make a new game no 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 it's definitely oh I feel so shit because I think are we still selling I think we're still selling yeah, not a lot, but yeah. Come on, please keep selling. Gameling has been invented. Business Boomer is off the market. 130k. Alright, fine contract work. We're just going to have to do one of these and agree to it. Let's just accept that one. That one seems... Two. One. Yes! Whew! Okay, now we just need to keep this sustainable amount of money. Like, um... Like, I say we get another one of these done. So, we're never going to be able to do that. Five weeks for that. Ah, for the penalty. You know what? Fuck it. Accept it. Gotta take risks in this... In the game of... In the... Yeah... <laughs> that was by far the worst sentence I could have thought up there. Yes. Okay, I think we're good to the bank. I think we're I think we're good with the bank. Um Yeah, never going to do that one. Uh I say we just wait. Yeah. There we go. Oh, all right. Okay, let's um, let's develop a new game. Let's make a military game. So let's call it. I was so tempted to call it Call of Booty. <laughs> oh, Call of Booty. Damn. Uh, no, let's call it uh World War Three. World War Three. Sim make it no not sim I was gonna make it like a simulation game but no let's just call it World War 3 
pick a genre. Obviously, action. Or no, we could make it a simulation game, because I'm sure a military simulation game would be pretty cool. Uh, we're just going to have to make it on PC. Game engine, use R1. So far the cost is 15k. I think that seems alright. Growing interest in video games, there's also a growing audience for video game magazines. New research, marketing. I feel like we're going to have to eventually research something. Uh, might have to take out linear story, just... Yeah, I don't really think that the story is needed. It's just an engine and stuff. It's probably quite important. There we are, saving money. I'm good with budgeting. I'm really not. I'm I'm the worst with budgeting. Let's take that one down a bit. Come on. Come on, game. Give me that them monies. Uh, yeah, well, if it's a simulation game, we want the sounds to be good. And the world design. Maybe the graphics can be lowered a little bit. Uh, let's just let the bugs go away. <laughs> I'm afraid we're getting dangerously close. New topic and new combo. Ooh. Yeah, I don't care about these. Goal hint. You have more than one million in cash. You'll be able to move to the next level. This might sound a lot, but don't worry. Once you release a hit game, you'll get to this amount easily. Vina, created the Master V console, has announced a Vina Gear, a portable console to directly compete against the game link for Nivento. Spokesperson for the company said, unlike similar devices on the market which don't come close to gaming consoles, the Vina Gear has basically the full power of the Master V, except you can take it with you. The Vina Gear also has a full color screen. Holy shit. Come on. Please be the hit game that I've been waiting. No. <laughs> no. Falls a bit short. Come on. Uh, this is disappointing. <laughs> I can't make a good game, can I? Uh... Oh, okay. 30k. It's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, let's make a game report because everyone loves game reports I certainly love I don't they're quite boring but you know whatever uh First release analysis of World War 3 sim is complete. Military and simulation is a great combination. Sound seems to be quite important for this type of game. Platform genre match. PC simulation is great. Sweet. Well. Looks like. I think. We should be making more PC games. Just like busting them out. So. Uh, develop a new game. Let's call this one. Uh, mil let's, let's call this one World War Three D Day. Three Simulator D Day. Fucking yes. All right, simulation. A platform. I say PC again just because we can't actually afford. We shouldn't be able to afford. Although maybe we should go for the TES. No, okay, let's think about this rationally. So if we went for the gambling, it could work. Now I'm thinking maybe TES. Oh no, we don't we don't even have enough of the license cost. Never mind. Let's go PC. Pick our game engine, 
game engine number one and go start development um, hmm. now I actually okay I'm starting to think that these to make a really really hit game these things uh, like matter more than you'd think so I'm gonna take down engine I'm assu I'm assuming this and that's pretty much it and I'm gonna up that one because I don't, I, on, I don't reckon the engine's got much to do with it game off the market sold 13,000 yeah fair play good on it we need a million we need I'm stuck I'm, I, I, I don't like this basement I don't like the basement the basement sucks so let's go up with AI yeah that is important so bring that one up as well um, two months the G64 will be taken off the market damn well we had fun with it while we could world design okay now I imagine for a simulation game, you're probably going to want a realistic looking world. I'm trying to think about this realistically, the game could be like, completely nuts, okay. I'm going to try the other way, I'm going to try the other way, so maybe that and that. Although it says it's important, so why don't we just keep it quite even. We have 407 cash, wow. Uh, wait for the bugs to go away ah uh, oh, I thought that would have been like new record whatever release game around the world surprise today is the god of war creator of popular six world has filed for bankruptcy damn God damn God of all. It stopped on Oh whoa whoa <laughs> Oh god <laughs> Oh god No <laughs> This isn't going well <laughs> Oh okay so turns out you need a bit of variety in your games <laughs> Let's generate a game report. Select that one. It's barely. The latest game by Nubisoft was reviewed, scratching their heads. Rather than bringing a new and innovative game, well, the same setting as their previous game. Oh, okay. So you actually need to like make a half decent game. After that, okay, yeah. Okay. I get it now. I get it now. I get it now. I'm thinking Marcus and really like when we publish very similar games too close to each other. Okay. That I didn't know. I thought it could be like, you know, it was about a year later. Or a couple of months later. But, you know, I'm thinking it's a bit like what games like it's like when Assassin's Creed Unity came out and then just after everyone had Assassin's Creed Unity there were screenshots of Assassin's Creed Syndicate and then everyone was like holy shit give us a minute I hadn't even completed the game by that point oh that's pretty crap uh, let's what contract work have we got never gonna be able to do that one probably gonna be able to do that one I hope it doesn't do that thing where it stops. No, we're good. Find contract work. Nah, I don't. I don't believe we can do that. Uh, what can we research, by the way? Um, game tutorials, probably quite good. Publishing. 
casual games. Now, I've heard some of these are quite important, but I'd like to have at least over 50k in my account before I even do that. So let's develop a new game, let's stick to what we know. Uh, maybe like, I'm calling Dungeon Dasher 3. Sorry about the awkward cut there, guys. Um, anyway, what were we doing? We were about to develop a really, really quick new game, weren't we? So, yeah, new game, uh, I'm calling Dungeon Dasher 3. Dungeon Dasher 3. Let's go Dungeon. Genre. Strategy. Uh, we never tried strategy on PC, so I guess it should work. With the new game engine. And let's make a game. Start development. Yes. Let's keep going on this. Uh, I think engine's quite important. Story and quest, probably not. Gameplay is always important. For me, personally. Uh, dialogues, also not important. AI and level design are. Development stage 3, I believe sounds aren't as important. Nor graphics, but world design is. And we'll finish the game in three, two, one. Nice. All right, engine gameplay, story, quests, dialogues, graphics sound brilliant. Release game. Wait, did I do Dungeon Dasher on this save or the last save? Oh, we got a seven. We got a six. We have a seven. And a five. Well, what is all games now? All games are bastards. Um, that will now go on the market. We will generate a game report really quick. Wait, did game reports cost money to do? Is that why I'm losing so much money? Artificial intelligence seems to be quite important for this game. PC and strategy is great. Wait, go on to game history now. I did do Dungeon Dasher on the save, okay. For a minute there I thought I did it on the last one. And look at the money we're reeling in. Oh, look at that. That is actually quite beautiful. Vina's announced they'll release a new gaming console in two months. The Vina, the Vina Oasis comes with 16-bit graphics and sound which promises a new kind of gaming experience. He said the announcement the Oasis a new star will be the genesis of a new generation of gaming consoles. I believe it will do very well in the market. Some of the games already announced for the consoles suggest it will appear to more mature audiences. Alright. I can see us working working that pretty well. Um, just wait for this to finish and I think I'll wrap up the video there, guys. Uh, let's just wait. Damn, it's been on the market for a while. Yeah, fair play. 92k. That's a pretty good place to leave the video, actually. So, thank you guys very, very much for watching. Uh, you guys get the drill if you like the video. Like the video. And if you want to see more... Ooh, we have news. Oh, it's just that. Uh, yeah, please subscribe. And on that note, guys, I will see you all in the next video. Take care.